Hi guys, today we'll talk about top key elements from our coding pattern course. We'll talk about two things in top key element. First, what is top key element? Second, when we have to use it. So first we talk about when. So we talk about the part when, when we have to use it. In any question, in any scenario, where it was asked for top largest smallest or frequent k elements so whenever in any question it was asked for top largest smallest frequent k elements k mean any number any number of elements so in that particle type of question we'll use top k elements we will come across what is top key element and i have also mentioned few questions from lead code this is the number from lead code number and that is their title i just read out and then we talk about what is top key element and what is their what is its template so after going through that you can try all these lead code question by yourself if it won't be uh, successfully completed for sure we will go and we will solve each of them one by one in next coming videos so first one is kth largest element in an array top k frequent elements top k frequent words kth largest element in a stream k closest point to origin sort character by frequency rearrange string k distant apart these are very important questions uh, where we have to make a little bit tweak reorganize string both of them are very close task scheduler find k closest points and frequency stack i never give this any number so let's talk about what part what so what is actually top key element in top key element says we have to follow three steps first what uh, before going that what we can see let's suppose we give some example we get some example to better understand so let's suppose we have 5 2 10 1 20 someone asks us that can you please provide some two smallest numbers let's suppose two smallest numbers in this case think about our given example what if we sort it so what will be the solution let's see we will say one two five ten twenty we sort it for sure that will take big of n log of n to sort this array and someone is asking two smallest so we can go and give him these two smallest numbers if someone is asking for let's suppose two largest number in case of largest number for sure we can provide them these two but that cost us n log of n so that will be the cost so to sort some array which was not sorted can we make it better by might be compromising some space so let's go with top key element approach what part first thing we will do we will choose min or maxi that is the first step Either we have to choose min heap or we have to choose a max heap. What is min heap or what is max heap? Let's suppose if I use a min heap of so min heap will be for the above example, one will be on the top, two will be here, we can say five will be here, then ten will be here, and twenty might be here. So this is a min heap. For the same example, we can make a max heap. So max heap in for above example would be 20 on the top and then 10 might be and then there will be suppose 2, there will be 5 and there could be 1. So that will be a max heap for the same example. This is a min heap and this is max heap for the above example. Now let's talk about what are the steps. We were going to talk about what part. So the first thing we have to choose min heap min or max heap we will see either why we have to choose min and why we have to choose max second in some question in any question whatever is the ordering criteria 
whatever the basis ordering uh, basis or criteria anything which is talking about let's suppose uh, file size or might be in the question it is asking about um, closest distance so distance to a region might be distance to region or might be in some question it is talking about frequent um frequently asked questions so any anything any any basis any criteria that might be file size or distance to so these are the basis on which some number of elements will be considered top largest smallest or frequent that we have to decide decide in second step and in third step what we will do we will iterate on all the elements and fill your mean or max heap fill heap uh, up to size of k so up to the k size we have to fill now let's see how we can uh, implement our top k element so when someone says to smallest element from the example 5 to 10 1 20 how we will implement that how the first step what will be the either we have to use a min heap or we have to use a max heap when the question is asking about smallest element in some question might be it will be a little bit different but the trick will be when it is asking about smallest element we have to use a max heap when it is talking about uh, we have to use for smallest we have to use a max heap when it is asked let's suppose two largest in that case we have to use min heap in that case we will use a min let's go with the with our first example here and uh, we we can show that how it implement when he is talk, talking about two smallest element we choose a min heap first number comes we say okay it is two put in max heap our five so five will be on the top when number uh let's suppose two comes for two we will say five will be on the top and two will be here number 10 comes for number 10 we will say 10 will be on the top five might be here two will be here but in that stage we can see uh size of our max heap max heap size is now greater than our required k required k is our two two smallest number in that case what we will do we will trim we will take out the top k plus one element from the maxi so now it will become again five and two because we take out that ten because this is a max element from here that will be gone next we are going to send one so in case of one five will be on the top five will be on the top one will go here two will be here and now again the same criteria is coming max heap size is greater than k so we have to take out k plus one element from the max heap and shape will become two and one now 20 will be added so when 20 is considered 20 will be on the top one will be here two will be on the right side that condition is going to be compromised maximum size is greater than k we will remove the k plus one element and it will be two and one so that was the required answer and we can send two and one as an one and two as an answer for our two smallest element implement the same question for two largest element from our given same example 5 to 10 1 20 what we will do first 5 is coming we say put it in the min heap 5 will be on the top second element is coming is 2 so this is the min heap we will use 2 on the top 5 will go down and second third 10 is coming so for 10 2 will remain on the top because it's a minimum element 5 will be here and 10 will go there now again the same criteria is going to be uh, compromised that min heap size is again greater than k in that case we will we will trim 
k plus one element and we will get two is uh so two will be gone so five will be on the top and ten will be let's suppose here now next element one comes up in that case one will be added on the top five will go here ten will be here again the same situation same condition was uh, satisfied we will remove k plus one element we will remove k plus one element and five will be on the top ten will be here we will add 20 so for 20 5 will remain on the top 10 will be here 20 this condition is again going to be satisfied we will remove k plus 1 element which is 5 the answer will be 10 10 on the top 20 will be here and we will get answer 10 20 we will get to max element i can revise again what are the steps for top k elements first we have to choose min or maxi in most of the cases when it is talking about smallest element we have to choose maxi because it is something like we are sinking uh, opposite inside and just whatever is maximum from our current combination like k plus one we we, we trim we click the uh, k plus one element and we keep on sinking the minimum at the bottom so that's the first rule. So here, you know, when it is asking about two largest, so we were using min heap, and uh, for the second, we were we we will see in different questions that ordering uh, will change. So on the basis of ordering, they that heap was going to react differently. And the third rule, we will iterate on all elements, and we will fill our heap what we were doing here, and we get the result for min. Um, to smallest number and here we get the number for two largest number thank you